when we see our Lord heal in the gospel, what is he really healing? Now, of course, he's healing the body. We know that. But remember that also in his day, the sick were ostracized, right? So he was healing loneliness as much as he was healing the body. Also, the sick might have felt like they had no purpose. They were listless. That had to be healed too. We have to cure these illnesses today, and today we have a way to do so. But our century also suffers from another illness, the illness of workaholism, also called professionalitis, right? The error of, I am what I do. I am valued because I am busy. Remember what busy stands for, bound under Satan's yoke. Never let yourself get busy. Yes, you have your job. Yes, you have a family. But precisely for your family and your co-workers, you need a parish apostolate. If the banners didn't tell you today's Time and Talent Weekend. Not a huge apostolate, not one that's going to take up all of your time, right? We know that you have a job and a family, but serving the parish is A, a great way to get out of the house, and B, a great way to say, my job is important, but it is not everything. Before her retirement, my mother was a hotel manager. My single mother was a hotel manager. I can assure you that is a very, very 24-7 job. And yet, growing up, she always made time to be both a lector and an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion. What an example to those coworkers and to her son. Please be that. Now if our ushers could pass out the forms. I'd like to just mention a couple of our bigger needs. Um, oh, sorry, start with a shameless plug. If you've not been on a Light of the World retreat yet, uh, that's okay because neither has your pastor. Uh, so I will be attending my first Light of the World uh, this fall. So please, if you'd uh, like to go on retreat with me, that would be awesome. Don't let me go on retreat alone. <laughs> also, we are in need of adorers for our Holy Hearts Adoration Chapel. One hour a week. Uh, also, we need extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion at all the Masses. Uh, and also, we need our ministers to the homebound. Uh, our ushers do a great job, but we need to multiply them too. Uh, and likewise with our sacristans. Uh, if this is not your usual Mass, if you would like to attend uh, the 9 a.m. Sunday Mass, uh, we are in need of adult choir members. Don't tell me you can't sing, you can sing. Um, also, you drove here, right? There are people that don't have cars or need rides to mass. So ride ministry, that would be, right? Pick someone up on the way. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll standardize it. It's not, you know, no hitchhiking. Oh, this is, this is our saddest one. We have children enrolled in our RE, but there are some classrooms that do not have teachers. 
So picture those students sitting in their classroom ready to learn and there's no one yet there to teach them. How's that for Catholic guilt? Right, we need catechists and aides. Don't, I, I did that my senior year in high school. Yes, it was a little scary at first, but we have an excellent director of religious education. Uh, you have me, don't think you're teaching alone. You might be alone in the classroom, but we're right there with you. So uh, please do consider signing up for that. Uh, and also in the school, we are in need of substitute teachers uh, and volunteers during lunchtime. So uh, if the, the thought of preventing food fights seems exhilarating to you, we, we need that. But finally, I, I do have to say it. I, I know that so many of you already do so many things for our parish and for the church worldwide. And, and many of those I never see. So uh, on behalf of our Lord, on behalf of the Pope, on my own behalf, I want to thank you for that uh, and keep it up.